<laughs> you know, sometimes it's okay to just let it breathe. <laughs> to just, you know, we're living. Yeah. We're living on this planet. Where is this? Is this still South Africa? This is. I think the enti this entire this entire game is South Africa. Really? Uh, yeah, New Mombasa. I see. You know where uh, Leonardo DiCaprio runs away. In, oh, that's uh, Blood Diamond. But most people. Inception. Do oh. Well, no, he's also Are there you in the uh, command of time. Commander Trevor Noah, and he was also in a. Uh, he was also here in District Nine. He's in South Africa District a lot. District Nine did not have Mombasa. No, it had the South Africans. Yes, it did. And then there's Chappie. Yeah. Remember Chappie? Oh, I do. You guys remember Chappie? I liked though? Chappie. I thought it was okay. The well, first you, time. No, you did. Yeah, like, you're the one that like came yeah. to us. <laughs> you're like, oh man, like, man it's great. We I feel like, like it was considerably uh, worse the second time because the sound was so bad in that fucking theater, and then the, it just wasn't as overwhelming. Bad sound also, will kill a movie. Also, the story <laughs> didn't yeah. make any sense, and but uh, like it was more forgiving when you're like the in, characters are like, weird involved and... in it and like engrossed in the cinematic. And the guy's got Experience. the PS4 set and, together. And a, and a guy got <laughs> yeah. cut in half by a robot. That part was fucking insane. That was madness. Madness. So, uh... You're supposed to continue. <laughs> nope. Anyway, what I was saying before, you, you know... I think oh people, you know, people look to the internet as a source for entertainment. I don't. But they also look to it for things like, I don't oh, know how I to live my life to anymore. Here without it you know like if I the think, internet went out like permanently tomorrow what would you do uh i read a book <laughs> <laughs> i would keep playing fire emblem on the 3ds actually it wouldn't really fuck up anything like i think we'd be fine I guess Conrad wouldn't have a job I would, Yeah, I'd be out of a job. It'd be pretty No more devastating. money for you. I'd be, you know, in the my same entire position. My entire talent pool would be, like, completely gone. I'd be like, oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> a good chunk of Best Buy would die. <laughs> but, uh, chunk. you know, uh, people don't watch Let's Plays necessarily to be entertained anymore. I think a lot of people watch a lot of stuff on the internet. Do you think people aren't entertained by this? They, uh, well, uh, what I'm saying is that it's not necessarily <laughs> our job to be constantly entertaining because I don't think that's necessarily the point of all internet videos. I think there was a time where, you know, back when videos were optimally three minutes long because that was as long as people would watch of an internet video and you really had to maximize the impact of what you were doing and like really make something that stood out and was unique immediately. Run uh, away. Now, people will watch you because they're fucking bored. They're insane. And Everyone has lost their mind do. and so the quality does not matter anymore. Well, it's not that, it's that like- <laughs> We're numb. Here's the we're thing. We're numb. Here's what, numb. like the kind of people who go on the internet, like classically, are people who don't necessarily have lots of shit going on outside the internet in their lives. I'm a classic user of the internet. Like myself. <laughs> I'm you classically know, trained in internet. I, I spend a lot of time on the internet because I didn't have any offline friends, and I didn't have shit to do. <laughs> you were a loser. Friends. We are loser. not hooked into the internet. You now, are my offline friends. I think the kinds of people who... See, the thing is, like, in the early days of the internet... Uh, people often looked at it like, or even still to this day, a lot of people use the internet and they talk to people constantly. All they do is they have online friends and they talk to them all the time, and those people are boring as fuck, and I can't can't stand them, right? <laughs> but there's, I think there's a growing number of people who figured out that the internet is fun even if you don't talk to people. You can just listen to people who are more interesting than you do anything. That's what I use the internet for. Like consider this, right? Really Let's say that you have, you have. I am so really what you're saying is, people <laughs> who have friends on the internet are losers. What yeah. you should do is have no friends but watch interesting people do cooler things. Yes. Because right. you're a loser, so you should just live vicariously through someone else. Well, because we I live didn't in say should. I'm just explaining the logic behind <laughs> why it's like this. because we're in Virginia Beach and there's not a lot of cool. Well, let stuff. me put it this way. All right, there's lots of cool stuff. No, it's, let, 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 it's, it's easier to have friends that you don't interact with. You just pretend they're your friends. Well, 
They Here's the thing. Oh, I didn't get away into. <laughs> all right, I have cool friends offline, right? Uh, but I don't want to be around them all the time. We're cool friends. We hang yeah. out. We hang out a considerable <laughs> yeah, amount, we and we we mostly play video games and and go eat food, right? That's that's what, basically what we do with our friends, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's all well and good. You wouldn't want that all the time, right? I want that all the time. Now I have some really great internet <laughs> friends who I hang out in a chat room with and we do talk all the time in the chat, but there's people who use the internet like I get on Skype and I voice chat my friends for 12 hours a day. There's people who do that, right? Because they have nothing really better to do and they don't want to be alone Run. so they just talk to their friends all day. But their friends suck and are boring, because they're the kind of people who will sit for 12 straight fucking hours on a Skype call. All they do is call. sit and talk to their friends on the internet and not yeah. actually have anything to talk about. Exactly. Well, do if you, like us. If the only thing you do <laughs> is talk to, like, other people who don't do anything, none of you are going to have anything to fucking talk about. You're all boring. All you do is sit on Skype. That's your life. You are officially boring. So... And I mean, I'm I'm not saying that I'm any different. If I did that, I would turn into an incredibly boring person. It's happened. Uh, when I dated my ex-girlfriend, we reached that point where, like, we were on Skype talking all the time. And it's like, you run out of things to talk about because all you've been doing is being on Skype together. There's not, You can't be like, oh, how was your day? Like, I know how your day was. You sat here on Skype with me. Complication with constant communication. I run into that sometimes. Right. <laughs> so, you don't necessarily That's want... why I don't come in over here as much. Right. And every <laughs> time you come over, we have something to talk about. You've done something in school. You fucked up your life somehow. <laughs> yeah, you know. I you fucked can, up my life. I no, come. I tell you how I fucked up my while. life. He's had an existential crisis about his <laughs> how he looks like every default character in video games. It's great. You know? Imagine if you hadn't been able to reveal that entire story to me. If I'd been there for the whole thing. It wouldn't have been nearly as funny. So... Yeah, you know, I well, think... There's something to say about, like, the experience of having to experience that with him as, a, like, a side character. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just think it's valuable to have both. Your generic default side character. You know? I think I'm, I'm glad I got to hear that story, all this one great concentrated story. It was very entertaining. Um, but, you know, like, I think that when people watch internet videos like this one, it's because you want human interaction, but you don't want to be trapped. I mean, that's me personally, anyways. Like, I hate Skype calls. I can't stand being in a call with that people. That's a great point, because with this, you can pause it and just. Yeah, exit you can do whatever the, the fuck you want. You can just leave. Or, and it's only 20 minutes long each day, so, like. Oh, we can finally leave. That's why I text. Right. You could just ignore exactly. it. Exactly. Well, that's why. That's why I don't do calls. Like, because I've had like countless people who either I'm friends with or who just want to talk to me who are always like, "Oh, let's do a Skype call," and I'm like, I don't do Skype calls ever unless it's for a podcast. It's just, I don't ever do it. Doesn't matter how fucking oh, friendly God. we are. Well, okay, I won't say not ever. Me and the Horseshoe Crew will occasionally be drunk and do a podcast because we're that bored. Or not a podcast. I mean like a, a call. Like we'll just hang out. We usually forget that it's not a podcast, and then we get confused at some point. Because we'll be <laughs> talking like we're talking to an audience or something, and then we'll be like, "What are we? Why are we talking like this?" Well, you. S There's a lot of places you can just leave in this game. It seems like like you don't have to fight the enemies all the yeah, time. Yeah, I I, I realize that. There's they do have moments like you have to hold out for a bit. But then at a certain point, it's like, all right, you can, you can go. You're never done killing every enemy in a war zone. You're right! This well, is a war! Like, it's a, realistic. But in Halo, it's usually like, you just kill everything. Are we just like camping out here? Are we waiting we're just, for we're waiting for them to, to come into the... This is a real battle. It doesn't just end. Oh, yep. See, there's explosions. You're a real soldier. You fight until like, oh, right. well, we lost 20 guys. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Pretty much. But anyway, uh... Hold back! Oh. Yeah, I don't do calls. I like being people. able to leave. But I spend a lot of time bored. And so what I do is I'll sit on the computer and I'll be like, I just watched an episode of anime. I don't feel like watching the next episode yet, but I also don't want to get trapped into a two hour conversation with someone. So let's put on an episode of Game Grumps and not pay attention to it. And then I do that. Although I finally unsubbed Game Grumps because they got that bad. Oh. You unsub? Holy shit. Whoa! Uh, uh, sub them on the main channel anyway. I'm subbed to them on every channel I have, but uh, dude, they're fucking terrible right now. 
They're still doing fucking Mario Maker. They keep coming back to it. Like, they'll quit, and then they'll come back again and again, and it stopped being interesting, like, a million years ago. Like... You should comment on one of their videos. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> I should, but they would probably think it was a compliment. <laughs> and wow. Just wow. But with disappointment. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I expected that to happen. <laughs> but yeah, they have, they have completely been shit lately. I think they are aware of it, at least to some extent. They must know. Do they... Because they've been... They've seemed very cynical. The fact that they're still doing fucking Mario Maker is very cynical. Because they've made it very clear that they don't really enjoy it, and they're just doing it because it's popular. Like, they've said so. They have said, we're doing Mario Maker because it gets way more views than anything else we do. It's awful. So it's very, very cynical. What a terrible feel. Why are they pigeonholing themselves? Don't leave us, Victor. Because it makes money. And they do the show for money. So. Victor left. Why not? Oh. Game Grumps is very much like, this pays the bills and pays for our other projects, so we're gonna do it because it pays for everything, but like, they clearly aren't that into it right now, and they're not being very funny, and they've run out of shit to talk about, and they're playing the same couple of games that are not fun to watch, because for some reason, people just cannot get enough of them playing Mario Maker, even though it really was only funny at the beginning, so, I don't know why. I think we should play Mario Maker on this. No, well, thank you. I'm fine. I'm good. We're gonna play... I... That's, that'd be a cool <laughs> game to play if it existed, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. I'm hungry. I am too. We should, after this episode, which is whenever I say this episode's over, because we're at the 20 minute mark, we should get food. We'll In the comments, tell us food. what we should eat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We just don't eat for like a week <laughs> so that we can wait for them to respond. This is fucking insanity. This is like can we fall Halo back yet? No Russian right now. Nope. <laughs> it does kind of look like an airport a little bit. I don't know. What is this place? No Russian was pretty much just a slaughter. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't fight back. They should have. There should have been one guy with like Fucking a hand gun. Pussies. Are you killing? You're killing Americans in that, right? In no, you're, no, you're no, killing no, Russians. Russians. In that scene. You're you're pretending to be an American, American CIA, killing a bunch but of Russians. But you are a Russian guy. Right, and that's why. Hence, Why are you pretending to be Russian and Russian. you're American CIA? Well, there's an American CIA pretending to be Russian in a group who's pretending to be American. Oh, God. What is this, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy? Yeah. Oh, that movie's so good. I gotta learn all this shit. Oh, I haven't actually so seen amazing. that movie. <laughs> oh, my God. I've heard it's great, though. I've heard it's uh, somewhat difficult. Oh. I, I'm the dude. I fell off the wall. Playing a dude pretending to be another dude. Disguise is another. Oh. I'm the dude playing the dude. The oh sky. God! Dude. Oh, I <laughs> was, know we don't have to do the whole fucking thing. That again. was violent. Please tell me it checkpointed after we opened the doors. Oh, I sank your body. I sank. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I think we're at the start of the whole. Fucking no, we're not. Okay, the doors are open. Those doors are open over there. Onward. True affection. I don't know why that song just stuck in my head. So, Seen any good uh, Robert Rodriguez movies lately, Josh? Lately? No. Spy Kids. When was the last time? Did he do Sin City 2? Was that recent? I think so, yeah. I think that's like the last thing he did. Spy Kids was on Netflix. Yeah, The Faculty is also on Netflix, Josh. It is. Me, boy, and dance on. <laughs> why why <laughs> did you specifically <laughs> ask if we've seen any Robert Rodriguez movies lately? He really likes Robert <laughs> It's my Robert favorite thing Rodriguez. to say, now. Ever since that Mountain Dew thing was like... Have you ever dreamt of being in a Robert Rodriguez film? Uh-huh. That's- wait, like, hold on, I haven't seen that. What is that? Very specific. Yeah. There was like a contest or something where you could wind up in a Robert Rodriguez film. I don't know that that many people are familiar with Robert Rodriguez that it would be anyone's dream. I, like, I mean, he's- yeah, he's, he's a- he's a- he's, he's a right. known director. Yeah, he's, like known. he's good, but like... Whose dream is to be in a Robert Rodriguez I feel movie? like there's a lot of people who would dream that. 
I'd be in a Rod Rodriguez. I mean, I would be in one. It would be cool. Er I don't think I've ever Rodriguez. dreamed of it. I would be in an erotic Rodriguez. Movie. <laughs> what are you, what I are would you be in an erotic dream about a Rod Rodriguez. What are my movie? dreams? Yeah, what are your dreams? My dream is to li outlive all my friends so that I have the high score. <laughs> And that, that's pretty much it. Like, that's, that's like, my goal in life. Do you have, to, like, a score only given based on longevity, or yes. do you have to do something? Nope, just straight longevity. Like, I want on my tombstone to say... Outlived fuck, everybody. Fuck all of you, I win, and... With, like, an arbitrary score number. <laughs> yes, I want a scoreboard with, like, the second place behind me. 2,000 rings. Mm. That's my dream. What's your dream? <laughs> well, now my dream is to outlive you. Where the heck did he come from? <laughs> it, I have well, to beat shit. You. Are the we? Competition is flowing. Is this for real? Should we? Oh, should we do one of those uh, uh, pools where we just put money in it every year, and then the person that, li yeah, that lives, that the, lives longest, the longest gets all the money? We each have a key. That. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. You haven't heard about that? That's the thing. There's like, like a special name for it, though. Like I know a lot of How like like World War like World War Two guys would do that. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're in a fucking war scenario, then like you're expecting everyone to die. That actually happened in The Simpsons because Grandpa Simpson. And it was in uh, it was in Archer too. Yeah, they all. They were just <laughs> like they were scared. Oh, that, I remember that from Archer. They were scared remember. that they were killing each other. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. So I think that'd be fun. Once we all become financially like financially secure. Okay, so now we can't do it. In other words, <laughs> never. <laughs> How... Here's a fun question. How far do you think you are from financial security at present? Very far, because I keep getting fucked over by You're school. Debt, Josh. So my debt that I owe keeps going up. How far in debt are you? So with school itself, at last check, I'm 34000 in debt. Oh... How long would it take you to pay that debt? Not too long. I if I know. stayed with Best Buy at my current wage, I'm making about 15000 a year based on my hours. Yeah. But with the interest, it would probably take, like, 10 years. And that's also assuming I spend nothing. Like, I spend nothing but on the student loan. So that's not happening. That's just a challenge. Just do it, Jay. Right. So basically the and rest most, of your life. And most likely I'm going to have to defer payments for the rest of my life. That costs. Unless I... Somehow write a movie that Victor makes very successful, <laughs> and then I pay him off all at once. Victor will not even be here in nope. in six months. <laughs> I'll send him a script. Be like, hey, make this in your grad school. Make it work. Someone will give you money. I just have that's like literally my only chance. Other than that, because even if I sold everything I owned, that still wouldn't be enough. Jesus fuck. To like pay off all the debt. Well yeah, thirty-four thousand dollars is quite a bit. I don't think I could sell that much shit. I own a lot of useless shit. Yeah, you do have a lot of weird collectibles and stuff. <laughs> Make that eBay money. Someone will buy it. But then I'd be left with nothing and I'd probably like if I sold everything I owned and got a good price, I'd probably be still ten thousand dollars in debt. Well, uh, you know, Mike paid 15 grand down on his car payment after like two years of work. So it's doable. Well, the difference is, is he saved up before he got the debt. The difference is that he's a psycho. Who and doesn't he doesn't spend, spend money, spend money. On anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot and I spend money on everything. Josh, guess Street Fighter. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, ar <laughs> I'm already in debt. Let's just go Josh, further down Josh the rabbit is like hole. like pulling his phone out to order it right now. <laughs> it's going to be downloaded right, by the time I get home. Alright, next time on Digi Bros, we're going to get food before we continue this. Alrighty, peace out. Suck my nuts through my face.